talk about what's going on in my life, um, things that I'm loving lately, some different little tips and tricks. Um, I love to share kind of what I'm going through, what I'm finding is working, what I'm passionate passionate about. I'm going to share that. Another fun thing. So I'm going to take in my closet. I've been all about like decluttering lately. I get into that spurt where I just like want to declutter. Um, feel like that clutter is just kind of like dragging me down. I forget to introduce myself. If anybody's new on here, um, I'm Terry from Mummer Charged. I'm a registered holistic nutritionist, founder of Mummer Charged. Um, we've got our Mummer Charge Method, our seven day cleanse, and our Mummer Charge membership. So it's all about clean and simple eating, um, gluten free, dairy free, refined sugar free, all the things that are energy draining to so many moms. So we increase energy, uh, lose weight um, in, a, in a lifestyle fashion. So that's a little bit about me. I'm gonna dive right into what I'm loving right now. Spurts where I do really good. My favorite thing is like a 15, 20 minute like um, high intensity workout up to 30 minutes over 30 minutes it's like I just don't even want to do it and I'm more likely to not even start but um, so yeah that's that's what I'm into right now um, I want to get get to bed earlier and read a little bit um, is what I want to do because I have a few books that I want to get to this one I've been loving at first I thought okay I've, I've probably heard like everything she's gonna say before nothing's new um, and it is it is a lot of stuff that I've heard before, but some stuff is new, some I love her personal stories. Um, and even if it is stuff I've heard before, like I share stuff with you guys that you've heard before, like drink more water, um, eat less sugar, you know all that, but um, being told it again and being told it in different ways, it's helpful. So so I am loving this, and then since I've been loving this, I'm loving her, her and her husband do a daily, um, and they do podcasts as well, which I listened to. She had a good one this week. But every morning at, I think it's 8 o'clock Manitoba time, Central Standard Time, um, they'll do a, a Facebook Live. And a lot of the times it's just like random stuff they talk about, but they're they're so cute together. Um, so I've been loving that. So if there's any other Rachel Hollis fans, let me know. So things I've been loving, Rachel Hollis, um, decluttering. So I will, should I take you to my closet right now? I was going to share you got, or share with you guys some before pictures of my closet. It was a disaster. Um, so I'll maybe post that in the comments afterwards. I was going to share that before and then tell you um, that I was going to share the afters on the live and I forgot to do that. Um, but I think everybody's kind of in that decluttering um, bandwagon right now, whatever you want to call it. Um, with the Marie Kondo thing, but it's also I think this time of year I'm always I'm always in this mode to like declutter um, And get back into fitness and all that in February. So I was in that funk a little bit when I came back from vacation, so part of that uh, Was I needed to I needed to gratitude journal. Um, I talk about that quite a bit <clears throat> I don't always do that like I do ideally I would get up every morning and and do a gratitude journal which is um, if you're not familiar with it, it is just getting a piece of paper, getting a notebook, and writing down anywhere from like three to five things that you're grateful for um, each day. And instead of just writing down like grateful for my house, grateful for my kids, kind of like really think about it and kind of feel those that uh, the emotions of gratitude. It's huge. I'm like, so when I came home, I'm in that bit of a funk. Um, and then I'm also thinking like, okay, how can I bring some of that, some of that part of me back home? What lessons can I learn from that? Um, what else can I bring from that? Uh, so I, I actually had a couple mornings where I sat and I just like journaled, um, <clears throat> got poor connection on Instagram. Facebook seems to be better. So I find too when I'm going through like a little bit of a funk um, and I can't speak to, I know there's a lot of people um, and we had talked about this all like on social media, a lot of people have been talking about this, like the deep depressions. I, I can't really speak to that because I'm not an expert in that. Um, so what I'm speaking of is more of just like a little sort of like funk. Um, so I think there probably is also a lot of other moms that go through this too. Maybe you're not feeling like um, depression, but you just kind of, you're not like as happy as you could be. And that's important too. So if you're, um, if you are resonating with that too, it's, it's important to, um, happiness is important to your health too. Um, so anyways, a bit of a funk. So then I realized I need to I need to like journal this out. I need to figure out how I can um, bring more of that my the self 
the person that I was in Cuba, how I can bring more of that home, how I can streamline my life a little bit more so I'm not freaking out on my kids as much when I'm at home, um, all of that. So um, part of that was journaling to figure out what's going on. Um, so one part, one part is the decluttering I'm, I'm gonna get back to. Um, often I were at home and it's just like, you know, with two little kids, maybe you have more, maybe you have one, maybe you have four kids, um, the toys, the clutter, it feels like it's just a nonstop battle of, um, especially at this age, my kids are three and six. Um, they are pulling out so many different toys, making such a mess. They're at an age where you have to constantly, at least my kids, I have to constantly remind them, I have to constantly harp on them to tidy up their stuff before they um, get into other things. And it's just a constant battle. And I just, I feel uh, for myself, when my house is a disaster, um, I feel, I don't know how to, how to word this, but when your surroundings are chaotic, then your, your internal is chaotic. I'm not describing that correctly. But when I am organized, when I feel like everything's organized, everything has a place, um, it's decluttered, I feel a lot happier, I feel a lot more calm. So that was part of it, um, post-vacation, getting back into like how can I, how can I um, make things better, so decluttering. Um, so Alicia says, I feel like my day is more stressful on the days where I'm not prepared for the day, such as pre-making lunches the night before or pre-planning meals definitely makes it easier. Clutter is an issue right now. I've started uh, I've started more totes and organized the toys, but I think we also need to purge toys. So yeah, um, that's good to hear that you got, that you're kind of the same, same way with that. Um, and yeah, with the meal planning thing, the, the prepping lunches and all that, um, it's, it seems like either Either the day can control you or you can control the day. And I struggle with this too um, quite often where it's you're either just, um, what's the analogy? You're just oftentimes for me, it's like I feel like I'm just, I'm treading water or I'm maybe not drowning, but I feel like I'm just treading water instead of um, things being a lot easier. So yeah, all of that is kind of what I'm feeling right now where it's like, okay, how can I control my day instead of my day controlling me? part of that for me as well. So there's a few different things that I'm um, focusing on get, getting back on track with. Um, one of those things with me controlling the day versus the day controlling me is um, getting up earlier, having some time to myself. So I have a planner, even though I don't have like a super busy schedule, like meetings, things like that. I've got a planner. Um, I've got like a to-do list on there. That really helps me. So if I have Quiet time, I talk about this a lot too. Quiet time um, in the morning, have my cup of coffee, just having that, just kind of like feeling to like myself and calming down. Often I'll do the gratitude journal. I'll think about what, I'll look at my meal plan if I've got a meal plan. Um, if I don't, then I'll think about what I'm gonna make that day. So in, in terms of food, um, if I'm gonna work out. So it's kind of setting the intention for all the thing, those things. So I kind of list out, okay, what's my day gonna look like? I'm gonna fit in a workout here. I'm gonna make this for supper, I'm gonna do this. And then I find even just doing that really helps. And then when you sort of have that time to like think about things, then you're a lot more motivated. Um, even you're a lot more likely to, or for me at, at least, I'm a lot more likely to um, maybe at lunch, I'm gonna prep things to get ready for supper or, you know, you're just a little bit more proactive with everything. Um, so I think it's, I think the biggest thing is just the mindset thing with that. So <clears throat> I'm trying to get back with that. Um, one thing with that that I'm struggling with right now. So I've got all these different things that I want to add in. I want to get back to working out. I mentioned that right when I off the hop a little bit. Um, I go on spurts of like, I do really good with workouts and then you get out of it and then it's so hard to get back into it. You have all the different excuses. So now I'm telling myself, so I, I did a little workout yesterday. It wasn't very good. I was like, it was, I was laughing at myself how like weak I was with some of it. Um, but at least it was like a 15 minute workout. It was pretty high intensity and I, I like did not do great with it at all. But I was proud of myself that at least I did it. I'm getting the momentum going. I didn't make excuses. Um, so my plan right now is to get back to working out every day, almost every day. Maybe I'll give myself a day or two um, off. 
I like that better because that's going to be, that's going to create the habit where it's like, okay, no, like I'm just going to do it. No excuses. But, um, working out for like an hour every day is too much. It's too much for your body. It's too much for your schedule. So all I aim for is 15 minutes, at least anywhere from like 15 to 30 minute workout. Usually I like to do like a YouTube um, a tone it up, a beach body, something like that, some sort of workout that's quick. Um, so that's my game plan. So I have all these different things I want to add into my life, decluttering, but it's like, okay, so something has to, has to give in. Um, one thing I'm realizing is that I scroll social media way too much. Um, and you guys are on social media right now. You might think you're wasting time. I do, like I give myself some time. I love watching the Rachel Hollis show. Um, sometimes it is good to sit and have a cup of coffee and or maybe if you are preparing lunches or preparing things right now. So I like to multitask, like say you're watching this, um, the Thursday Lives. You can, you can still multitask and do stuff like that, but it's those for me. It's when I'm, I should be going to bed, but I spend half an hour or sometimes more scrolling Instagram. Sometimes I'll even, do you ever do it where you watch a video and then you scroll and you see some other random video, random video, and then it's like an hour has gone by and you've just been watching um, random videos. So I've been doing that too much, either at night, sometimes during the day, or in the morning when I wake up. So I'll wake up, I put my phone on and I'm scrolling social media. Instead of getting out of bed and going downstairs where I have my my space to like, to have my quiet time to journal, I get so much more out of my day than if I just laid in bed and scrolled social media. So that's one part. I'm, I'm identifying the areas where I'm wasting time, where it's not necessarily like filling my cup. So things like, this or the Rachel Hollis um, live or things like that. It's good if it's filling your cup, if it's um, helping you to relate to other moms, getting tips like that, then I feel like that probably, it depends depends on the person. That can probably be a good use of time, but it's just um, identify where, where you're wasting time, where you're kind of just numbing out. Uh, maybe that's Netflix every night, um, you know, just watching too many shows. If you can maybe get to bed earlier, um, and then maybe you have time in the morning to work out or you have time to do some preparing meals for the day, things like that. <clears throat> so we want to add in all these different things, but it's like something's got to, something's got to go because we are so busy. Um, as moms, there's, there's usually not a whole lot of time. Uh, so what have I been, been up to lately? Um, I mentioned some of that decluttering. I've been in such a, um, and I'll show you my closet in a minute. Um, so I'm kind of proud of that. Um, we are in week four of the Mummer Charged Method program. So we've got um, we've got a group of, of moms in there. I I caught up on week two, um, following the Method program. So we're into week four of our four week program. Um, so I have also been creating the last couple of weeks. I've been creating. Um, a, a new batch of meal plans for our membership. So I've got some really good, a lot of my favorite recipes in there. Habit shifts is something I've been doing, small habit shifts. So I've been trying to drink more water. Um, and one thing, and I posted about this before, I put a jug, a glass jug of water on my countertop. Sometimes I'll add lemon slices to it. Sometimes just a glass jug of water so I can track how much I'm drinking. So that was has been my main focus, along with sort of like decluttering and all that. Um, but my main health focus. So it's kind of nice to, if you want to make some changes, pick one small thing. Drinking more water is a nice spot to start. Focus on that for about a week. Try to, so for me, I try to, as long as I can get through that jug by the end of the day, I'm doing good. I think what they say is, what is it? Uh, drink, what is it? Half your body weight in ounces per day. Is that correct? But I've just been doing, I think it's like a two liter jug of water. So even that I find is that I'm drinking a lot more water than I usually do. I tend to just drink way too much coffee all day long. Um, so I'm just starting with that. <clears throat> Probably still isn't enough, but I'm finding that's helping and I'm drinking more water. So I focused with one on one small habit. The next habit I'm focusing on is to get exercise back into my life. So like I said before, that's going to be like a minimum 15 minutes of getting a sweat on almost every day. Um, and in doing it that way, it's going to become a habit and I'm just going to tell myself, like, I'm just going to do it 
right? Don't think about it too much. Don't make excuses. Just get it in. If it's 15 minutes, it's a lot easier. Um, uh, yeah, so if you, if you turn it into a habit, like drinking water, it, turn it into something where it's just like brushing your teeth, right? It's just part of your day. With me, with drinking a big glass of water in the morning when I wake up before I have a cup of coffee, I've been doing that for about five years now. I don't know if I've missed, maybe I've missed a day or two um, of having water before my coffee, but it's that's now is like brushing my teeth. Um, I don't often, I'd rather just get up and just have a cup of coffee, but that's just, that's just part of it. I don't even think about it. So if you can do that, work in small habits, um, getting up earlier is what I want to do. Get consistent with that. Less time on scrolling social media. Um, I think I talked about most of that. So I'm going to show you my closet. So I'm still, uh, less time wasters. Okay. So I'm going to try to bring both phones. So I didn't say, but I'm actually in my, in my, uh, son's, my three-year-old's pirate ship room right now, just because it's quiet. Okay. We lost connection on, um, Instagram again. Okay. So let me turn this around. So I've been making my bed, which is nice too. Um, uh, husband's got his junk. So note. So yeah, I'm going to show you the befores. I'm going to post it. Um, but I feel so much better. I cleared out about half of, so this is my portion of the closet. We've got, it's kind of a walk-in closet. This is my husband's portion. Um, and then we've got here, I've got some other clothes. So most of that's mine. My husband's up top. So here I cleared out like half of my closet. So I still have a lot of stuff here, but I cleared out half of it. So in that half, a quarter of that was summary stuff that I put in my closet downstairs. I find that helps. Um, the off season stuff, if you can like tuck it away. And then a quarter of that was donated to the thrift store. I just got rid of it. So I actually went through, I spent probably at least a couple hours and I tried on almost everything and I kept just what fit me nice. Like I had so much stuff. I don't know if you guys are like this where it's like, um, you're going out and you're trying on clothes and it's like, no, that, that doesn't look nice. That doesn't fit me nice, but then we still keep it. So like, I don't know why I kept that stuff. I never wore it but I still kept it. So now I've got, um, just everything like fits me nice. I like it. So I've got, what do I have here? Kind of dressier stuff. Then I've got it kind of color coordinated a little bit on my sort of like white and off white stuff. Um, my main colors I wear is black, gray, off white, and then like, um, camo <laughs> colors or like a, a dark green. So I kind of have it organized like that. This is more like, um, workout stuff. Uh, what do you call it? Ath athleisure. Um, then that's like a little bit dressier tanks and stuff, some cardigans, sweaters, and then like hoodies and stuff. And also with like hoodies, I had so many hoodies and it's like, why don't I just pick my like four to six favorite ones? Some of them I wasn't ready to get rid of. So I tucked them downstairs. I thought just in case, um, so even that helps, but I've just got my favorite ones. So if you find um, if you go on like a one or two week vacation, you pick out all your favorite stuff. And even that is like a lot of clothes. So it's like if, and then it's so much easier to pick out outfits when you're on vacation. So if it's kind of, if I can do sort of that, where it's just like, okay, this is all my favorite outfits. And then I went through, I had so many like yoga pants. I still had a lot of those like flared wide, the wide leg flared, um, yoga pants that, um, it's nice to keep one or two for like pajamas sometimes, but um, so I went through all that. If I have, if I have like, if you have 10 pairs of yoga pants and you only wear two or like jeans, if you've got like 20 pairs of jeans and you really only wear one or two because that's, they fit nice, then it's like, why, why do we keep them? So yeah, I just feel a lot better. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. It was a lot of randomness. Um, but, uh, I'd love some feedback. I'm going to be on here every Thursday morning. Usually I'll have something like maybe I'll bring you into my kitchen, make a favorite recipe, do some meal prep, some lunch prep, things like that. But um, let me know if you guys like this and love to hear from you guys. And I will see you next week. Bye guys.